Hi guys, this is Smiley Jason with Smile and Mobile, and today we're going to talk to you about CPU usage and physical memory, and we're going to show you how to reduce the percentage of both of them right now. So let's say you're on your computer and you're browsing, doing some work, or playing a video game, and all of a sudden your computer starts to get very slow. What could be happening is your CPU usage or your physical memory could be at 100%, and that's not very good. So CPU usage refers to your processor and how much work it's doing. If your processor is doing a lot of work, it'll be at 100%, and then any other work that comes in to be processed will have to wait in the queue, and that is what slows down your computer. Your physical memory is your RAM or random access memory, and this is where the jobs go to wait for the processor. So you can find out what type of processor you have or how much RAM you have by going to Control Panel, clicking on System and Security for Windows 7, and also clicking on Systems. Then at this point you'll be able to see what type of processor you're using and how much RAM you have. In this case we have 4, four gigabytes of RAM. So we've told you what CPU usage means and what physical memory means and now we're going to get to the point of why you really came to this video and that is how to reduce the percentage of both of these. So first of all you want to come to your task manager and to come to your task manager you need to click on the control alt delete key of your PC, hold all of them down at the same time, this will open a screen and then you select task manager. This is the task manager box which will open up. The CPU usage is down here and the physical memory is here. In order to reduce the CPU usage, well right now it's very low for us, but if we wanted to find a way to reduce it, we click on processes, then click on CPU. And this would arrange the CPU usage from highest to lowest, so we can see which processes are using the most CPU. If I wanted to now reduce these, I would click on, for example, this one, and hit end process, and that would reduce, that will kill that process, and will also free up some, some uh, CPU space. Now sometimes you don't want to kill the process, but you want to reduce the amount of processors that uh, each process is accessing. Like if you have a quad-core processor that's four processors in one, you don't want uh, one process to be able to access all of them and be able to slow down all of them. So you can reduce it by changing the process affinity. Now how you could do that is by coming here, for example, right-clicking, and then click Set Affinity. And set affinity, you see here it's selecting all four processors. What we could do is we could say, okay, what we want you to do is just access two of them. You click OK, and that should also reduce some of your CPU usage. So another thing that could be potentially increasing your CPU usage to 100% could be malicious software, malware, or spyware. Now, in order to get rid of this problem, make sure you download an antivirus program, and also make sure you scan your computer to remove all spyware that could be on your computer. The spyware could be definitely increasing your CPU usage to 100%. We recommend Malware Bytes. Go there, download it, and uh, scan your computer to remove any spyware that you have. This will probably also reduce the CPU usage problem that you're having. So one final reason that your CPU usage could be at 100% could be overheating. Now your laptop or your computer, if it overheats, will cause the processor to overwork, which will cause your CPU usage to be at 100%. So make sure your laptop is always cool. Don't put it on a bed because you will cover the vent and it will cause it to overheat. And if your computer is overheating or CPU usage is at 100%, try putting your laptop in front of a fan to cool it down. Maybe this will actually reduce the CPU usage. So let's summarize. If your CPU usage is up at 100%, you can try a few things. Kill some processes. Set the processor affinity. Scan your computer for spyware. Also, make sure you keep your laptop cool. If your physical memory is also pretty high, what you could do is you could add some more RAM. We've already shown you how to find out how much physical memory you have. You can go and buy some RAM to increase your physical memory. Thanks for watching Smile and Mobile. Remember, you can follow us at smileandmobile.com or at Twitter at Smile and Mobile.